This is Russ with Joe's Gaming and Electronics here with another highly requested video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to replace the battery on an SMR 830 watch. So let's begin. So first of all, I like to get the heat gun, apply heat on the back so it's easier to take apart, especially the housing so the screws get loosened up because they're held on by Loctite. Alright, so what we're going to do is take the three point screwdriver, it's 2.0 by 25 millimeter screwdriver, we have linked in our website. So let's go ahead and take apart the four screws. You have to press a little bit harder to just make sure the screws un unscrew so you don't strip them. Alright, so now I like to get the flathead and Go ahead and go into this into a slit and then press up and then afterwards I like to hold it up with my finger and then I like to go in with this plastic this plastic pry tool. It, it's really nice to pry up and make sure you don't break the seal because then you'll have to reseal it. Alrighty. Since the housing is off now, go ahead and take the same pry tool and then just take off the HR sensor. Make sure not to pull it up because you're going to rip the right HR sensor. Set that aside. Make sure the four screws are in there. Awesome. And now what we're going to do is in order to get to the battery, we're going to have to take apart these five connectors. Take apart those five connectors and under that board will be the battery. So we're going to have to take apart the connectors right now. Now we're going to go back to the flat headed pry tool and go to the other side, pry up, set the screen aside. And what we're going to do now is take a, get your Phillips screwdriver, unscrew the screw, and next, before prying the board up, what I like to do is I like to take off the, the button that's connected to the side. It has some adhesive underneath, so make sure not to break that, because that is the power button. So I'm gonna set the board aside. And for this process, I like to, it's like a, it's an eye sesame. It's a really nice tool that you just go in and you just pry up. Because I can't, I won't be able to use my flathead because then I could puncture the battery. So in that case, I use the opening tool, I sesame. And then I like to go back to the flathead and then take the connector apart because you're still going to be reusing the housing. And make sure the adhesive's there to hold the battery back down. Set the housing aside. Take the replacement battery. We're going to find the part where the ribbon's supposed to go back into. Put the, put the board back on. Take the Phillips screwdriver, screw the screw in. Now this part's a little tricky. You gotta make sure all the connectors are all spread apart. Uh, bigger connectors to the screen, so I like to put that on first. Make sure all the, f all the five ribbons are out are out of place to not fold them in and go ahead and press down you'll hear a couple clicks next all the ribbons should pop in freely without one being too tight or too loose awesome so in this case I'm not going to be using uh, the 704 glue B7000 because it has a really good seal, it has a really nice seal and it's not broken. And this device is fairly new. So um, if you do end up, if, if the device is old that you are using, I would recommend going around the seal with the glue itself. So then 
so then once you put the screws in, it presses it down and it makes it water resistant so, so no water leaks through. So let's go ahead, put that screw that fell out. I like to hold the ribbon with my pointer finger. Pop it right in there. Take the three point screwdriver. Awesome, we're gonna check if the unit power is on. Perfect, awesome. And that is how you replace a battery on an SMR 830 watch. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.